to be able to just make a choice on your own and just be able to speak for yourself. This one's wife, A-R-O, the video. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. This one's wife has popped up with the ridiculously named American Riviera Orchard, which naturally requires significant analysis vis-a-vis the driver behind this behavior, naturally, her narcissism, the fact that the reaction to it results in much ridicule, which is challenge fuel for her, and that it demonstrates so many facets of her narcissism from the fact that she believes she knows best in what she's produced here, how she doesn't listen to anybody because she'll undoubtedly be advised that this was not a particularly good idea and that the name of American Riviera Orchard sounds like anything from a care home to what the Americans labelled the French Riviera during the Iraq War, as suggested in Vulture, that it demonstrates her dogged determination driven by her vanity and narcissism, to become some kind of brand superstar, like Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop or Martha Stewart. That it demonstrates the way that her narcissism blinkers her, blinkers her to her failings, to her lack of talent, her lack of charisma, her lack of imagination. And whilst she is aware of the fact that people ridicule her, she never accepts it. She never learns from it. And this is demonstrated as part of the launch with the short video that accompanies it. You may well have already seen this video, but in order to give you further insight, let's have a brief look at it. Here it comes. Right. Does that have you rushing to think, I must immediately enter my email details on the landing page so that I can be part of this revolution in home cookware? Did you immediately think, I do hope that there is an apron with American Riviera Orchard emblazoned across the front with a crappy cipher at the top that I can wear as I flick through the cookbook, which will undoubtedly will be full of delicious and nutritious, authentic and organic, impactful and meaningful recipes. Did you find yourself thinking, I look forward to starting my day drinking some ethically sourced coffee in a coffee mug that has been carefully curated by the freakish eye for detail that this one's wife utilises? Perhaps you thought to yourself that you would buy two copies of the cookbook, one to use in the kitchen, the other to put under your pillow at night, so that you sleep easy, assured in the knowledge that you are contributing to a more equitable planet as a consequence of your purchase of this tome of industry. Perhaps you thought to yourself, you know, there's nothing I'm going to look more to more than purchasing some jams and jellies and marmalades, which have probably been cooked by this one's wife herself, that have been created by her in her kitchen, and then smearing it all over my partner as part of some hanky-panky. I've always wanted to admit this one's wife into the bedroom. Here's my chance. Did you immediately start to think, how much money have I got that I can spend and go crazy buying gifts for myself and also for everybody that I know in order to support this venture? I suspect that your reaction was none of those things. Because, well, let's break it down. The rather grainy video put me in mind that we were about to witness some hazy footage of someone being dismembered, that we were voyeurs to some ghastly crime that had taken place as it starts off flickering and then we have the music that starts. 
We're then shown an unseen individual, but it's clearly this one's wife, as a consequence of the oversized man hands that are fondling the flowers. I don't know if this is a symbolic for something, that it might be some kind of analogy, but nevertheless, there she is, moving the flowers around, lifting one from them. Are we told that this means that you're going to be given perhaps lessons on flower arranging? Is she going to invite you into the garden and show herself leaning down to sniff the flowers and telling you all about her horticultural excellence? Well, only time will tell. But it certainly didn't have me inspiring, inspired to want to access this particular website. Not that I could, given that all you can do is go to a landing page. We then get a further shot of this one's wife in the kitchen. Taken from some distance away as if we were Harry peeking through the window, juggling our balls, I half expected to hear eye of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog, adder's fork and blind worm's sting, lizard's leg and owlet's wing, for a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth boil and bubble, double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Yes, I expected to hear those words being issued by the Witch of Monty Shit Show as she stood there stirring whatever it was in a bowl. But no, it didn't come. But the flickering grainy footage certainly puts one more in the mind of some kind of gothic horror than a lifestyle upbeat and lightweight brand. And then we move on to something which was altogether strange. A shot of this one's wife down a corridor, backlit, looking as if she's mourning the death of someone, that she's some the wife to some Italian mafiosi that has been gunned down in a sting operation. And there she is, the elegant widow, mourning the loss of her life partner. Quite why she feels that it's appropriate to produce some footage of her stood at the end of the corridor, almost looking like some kind of spectre. Well, she is the ghoul of Uvalde, but I doubt that she was attempting to channel that look. And perhaps as a bit of a prophecy, the door starts to swing closed, moved by an unseen hand, perhaps Harry lying on the floor tugging on some fishing wire. Nevertheless, that would be truly symbolic that the door is indeed closing on this woman, shutting her out of popularity, closing the portal or making money. It's a strange video indeed, and no doubt this one's wife was the one that came up with the concept and that she sanctioned this. Does it want to make you engage with the brand? No. Does it make you want to buy things from this brand? No. Does it make you think that you're watching some disturbing individual, perhaps engaged in some kind of horror story? Yes. What do you think, valuable viewers? Another example of the self-indulgent narcissism of this one's wife, self-absorbed, thinking that she knows best, creating something which just again generates ridicule. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.